Hello there, I'm Dylan here with a Dell Dimension 8400 that I recently put back together and to my surprise, it put it straight into Lubuntu. It normally runs Windows XP. This is one of the more premium, larger size Dell Dimension. You can see with all the expansion bays up front. But yeah, as you can see on this television here, which is what the computer is hooked up to through VGA, I've got Lubuntu, and it's not running off a USB. As you can see, there was nothing in the front, and there's no USB boot drive at the back. That is a wireless mouse receiver back there for the mouse. So yeah, as you can see, I've got an 80 gigabyte Mac store drive. Lubuntu only uses four gigabytes of installation. And you know what? If you just want a web browsing machine, this may be quite power hungry, but it'll get the job done. And you know, it's only using three percent of CPU usage. 150 megabytes of RAM, that is ridiculously impressive, honestly. And yeah, it runs very smoothly on 256 megabytes of RAM to remind you. Uh, perhaps if you're using the web, you may want to double the RAM, maybe quadruple the RAM. I mean, maybe if you want to just you know, view image, edit images, write Word documents, this Lubuntu Dell Dimension 8400, no problem at all. Ignore the incorrect time. That is because the CMOS battery is dead, but as you can see, 1080p, no problem, Pentium 4, it's a single core processor, but it does have hyper-threading, hence why it says two cores. You know, this is Lubuntu, this is a pretty old version of Lubuntu, so it's uh, Lubuntu 15.10 uh, from 2015. Let's run some benchmark on this computer. 113.27 for CPU crypto hash. CPU Blowfish is, well, it's going to take some time. Pentium 4 is a 2005 processor, which is like 15 years old. So we've got a 15-year-old processor running a 5-year-old operating system. And here are the results for this machine. 11.94, which beats the PowerPC 9409 faithful and the Celeron M at 1.5 gigahertz. No, yeah, wait, what? I don't wait. So you see, the results in second lower is better. Yeah, my mine is my 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 computer beats out a Celeron, and I don't know where all this benchmark comes from, but oh well. Um, and then CPU CPU fin uh, Finacci, let's just run it to spot, and I get three point eight three, which again beats the Celeron M and PowerPC processor. Wow, PowerPC, <laughs> and CPU N Queens. This is a benchmark thirteen point two eight four. A results in seconds in for CPU end queens and FPU FFT. Wow, ray tracing, ray tracing only became a thing like in the last two years with Nvidia RTX. Five point eight four for FPU FFT, and lastly FPU ray tracing. Does this even support ray tracing like in the way we know it today? I don't know. We're performing John Walks F bench dot dot dot, uh, and there it is again. Result in second lower is better. I once again beat the Celeron M and the PowerPC processor uh, with a score with a with a time of sixty three point eight with sixty three point eight seconds. So, all right. So yeah, thank you for watching this video of Dell Dimension Plastic Fantastic eighty four hundred running Lubuntu fifteen dot ten. Thank you for watching.